as it comes onto the block. My goodness. This is not a replica. This is the car that spawned so many replicas. This is the real deal. I got butterflies in my stomach. I do too. Is it crazy? Look at this. I mean, this room, everybody is on their feet, even if they're in the seated area. They're on their feet for Eleanor. Unbelievable. Well, as the crowd starts to gather around the car, let's talk a little bit about why this car is so important. We all know from that great movie, Gone in 60 Seconds, this is the, the exact car that Nicolas Cage drove and was photographed in many scenes in this exact car. But just as importantly, this is the car that set the stage for the current white hot resto mod theme that extends way outside of Ford and Shelby into virtually all makes and brands, including imports. It all started right here with this car, already half a million bucks. You know, we've been hyping this car all week. Do you guys, have you stopped to think how many DVDs we're gonna be selling? You know, I'm gonna beckon that, you know, maybe there's speed in the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I figure there's a cut in there for us somehow. It's kind of prorated. You, you, you get the director's cut, you get 45 extra scenes. So now I gotta go back and watch it all over again. 600,000, guys. The reserve is off. Go, baby, go. 351 cubic inch Ford Power, 400 horsepower. There's a Ford crate engine. All suspension or braking upgrades. The prototype for what we enjoy today and well known as the Resto Mod or Pro Touring Movement. Very historic car. It's certainly worth every penny of this kind of bidding, everyone. spawning of an entire generation of replicas has really made this a, a very rare instance where the second version of the film is wildly more popular than the first now, simply because of this automobile. We're at $800,000. This is our number two car the entire week, and the Super Snake last night at $1.3 million, starting to get a little bit nervous maybe. Souter. A little bit of phone negotiating going on in the bottom left hand corner too as Ben Gunter is there helping out. Mark Delzell, the auctioneer, you hear his voice in the background. Asking for 900000 on the phone? Yeah, at least one, maybe two back there. We got a million dollars on Eleanor, guys. referring to Frank Meekin, who's back in the upper left-hand corner with the orange ball cap on, talking with a phone bidder. It's Eleanor versus the Super Snake. Who's going to win the price battle? $300,000 difference right now. All right. two hours of my life. I have to go watch the movie again. <laughs> Bye, Eleanor. We're going to miss you. Yeah. It's been fun hanging out with you. That's yeah, a once-in-a-lifetime, guys. Look at all the little cameras and portable 
Device is taking a picture of Eleanor as it rolls off the block. How about that? A million dollars for Eleanor, Chris Jacobs. How about that for your first trip to a Meekin auction in Indy? All I can say is, what, you see this grin on my face, Scott? That's all because Eleanor did not disappoint. Many more cars coming up, just like this gorgeous 67 Chevy Corvette with a 427 and a four-speed. Lots more go be going across the stage. You know you're going to want to stick around and see them right here on Discovery Channel. We are live from Meekin Classic Car Auction, and we'll be back right after this.